What is up guys, Joe here back with another video and today we're actually going to be doing a comparison between the Galaxy S5's newly added fingerprint scanner versus the iPhone 5S's Touch ID, aka the fingerprint scanner. Now the main purpose of the fingerprint scanners on both of these devices is to mainly unlock your device, but not only that, it also is able to be used to make purchases from music, also apps, and things like that. Now when it comes to the iPhone 5S, Touch ID, aka fingerprint scanner is embedded into the home button so all you got to do is place your finger on the home button and then it'll read your fingerprint and then it'll unlock your device. Now when it comes to the Galaxy S5 the fingerprint scanner is also in the home button but there's a different method of actually unlocking your device using the fingerprint scanner. When you wake up your device you place your finger close to the bottom of the screen and then you do a swipe down gesture going over the center of the home button, it'll recognize your fingerprint and then it'll unlock your device. Now when it comes to the setup process, it's very simple on both devices. On the iPhone 5S, you'll be able to add up to five fingerprints and all you gotta do is go into your settings, go to general and then go to touch ID and then you add a fingerprint and then from here to register a fingerprint, you rest your finger on the home button and then you lift and then you rest it again on there and you keep doing it repeatedly until it fully reads your fingerprint. After that, it'll ask you to do it one more time in a different orientation. So for example, if you're holding it with like one hand or something, you can simply place your finger in that different orientation and then it'll still read your fingerprint. Now when it comes to the Galaxy S5, you'll go into your settings and then you'll go down to finger scanner. And then from here, you'll register your fingerprint when you select on fingerprint manager. Now with the Galaxy S5, you're only able to register up to three fingerprints. So you have to be very selective of what fingers you want to use. So when selecting fingerprint manager, you will need to input your fingerprint if you haven't done so already. And then here is your fingerprint manager. You can select the little plus button up there to add more fingerprints. Now these fingerprints, you're able to not only unlock your device, but you're also able to even uh, verify your Samsung account and, and even pay using your fingerprint through PayPal or other applications because the API is actually open to developers. So more apps in the future will be able to use the fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy S5. Now the setup process to register your fingerprint on this, you have to swipe from the bottom of the screen down over the home button. And as you see here, it was pretty troublesome to register your fingerprint because sometimes it doesn't read it because of the fact that you have to swipe right over the home button, like dead center in the middle. But once you do register your fingerprint, you'll be able to deregister uh, all the fingerprints if you like because like I said you're only able to register up to three fingerprints so my recommendation would probably be your two thumbs and then one index finger but that's just me. Now when it comes to actually using the fingerprint scanner on both of these devices they're both pretty accurate but there are times that I didn't read my fingerprint on both devices but I found that the Galaxy S5 didn't detect my finger quite as much as the iPhone 5S did. Due to the fact because of the Galaxy S5, it requires a little more work to do. But don't get me wrong, the Galaxy S5's fingerprint scanner is still an awesome new feature that they added to it. But when it comes to ease, I would definitely have to give it to the iPhone 5S because you simply place your finger on it. All you got to do is press it once to wake it up. And then you just leave your finger placed on the home button and you're good to go. Whereas to the Galaxy S5, you actually have to place your finger at the bottom of the screen and then swipe over the center of the home button where sometimes I could find that difficult when you're using it just with one hand. But anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for this video comparing the fingerprint scanner on the iPhone 5S and the Galaxy S5. Let me know in the comment section below if you've used both of these devices, which one do you find better? Do you find the iPhone 5S Touch ID better or do you find the Galaxy S5's fingerprint scanner better? I'd like to know your opinion in the comment section below. But as always, if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. Not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. Also, if you're not following me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or Instagram, all of my links will be down below in the description. Also, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. Let me know if you'd like to see any more comparisons between the Galaxy S5 and the iPhone 5S. But that's going to do it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.